Hello all you beautiful gamers out there, I'm Jules Controller and welcome back to Star Ocean 5. I'm excited to just jump right up back into this and hopefully not die. I've been grinding around this area for a bit, but it really wasn't working for me, so I figured out how to use Emerson's communicator to get to his spaceship. I'm going to show you all how to do that. We're going to open up the menu, items, and where that little key sign is, we find his communicator communicator which sends us to the Charles de Gaulle his amazing fabulous awesome spaceship we kind of teleport up there it's like beam me up Scotty and here we are deck 2 transport room got my friends with me and what I've been doing is I've been running over here healing running all the way back over here to this and this is fun you just operate it and then you can go anywhere that you previous previously gone. You can go anywhere, and it's amazing. Oh my gosh, so I've been grinding everywhere. Even the desert. So let's go ahead and we'll go back to the desert. I just wanted to show you guys that real quick in case you're playing and you're like, oh, I wasn't sure how to use the communicator, because, like me, who didn't read how to use it. But there you go! So we're going back to the desert, because we gotta go into that research facility and fight those robots, because it was a trap! It was a trap. There were no guards, no research people around no doctors nothing and we were attacked by robots and I'm strong enough to beat the robots but for some reason I kept dying and I figured out why and I'll tell you guys in a second it's like a boss mechanic even if you're strong like you have to do a certain thing I'll fight these wolves real quick I'm so strong you came to the wrong desert I'll save you Relia my precious baby I gotta protect my baby girl. I love you, Relia. Precious angel. Why they all be this easy? We gotta go this way. There we go. There we go. I keep getting sidetracked. Those green dots on my screen are, uh... What are they called? I can't think off the top of my head. They're like... Materials you can gather and craft stuff. I'm not sure how yet, but I unlocked that and now it shows up on my map Like here's materials and it could be anything like wood or berries Stuff like that. So that's what the green stuff is. Oh My gosh, I just went the wrong way again. <laughs> I have no sense of direction in game and in real life There we go it, It's really not hard to follow a map. I just make it hard Emerson how come you can talk about so many different things so well? What? That's because I've lived so long. You're yeah. old. When you get old, you can talk about lots of different things? That's the basic idea, anyway. Okay. When I get older, I'm gonna talk to Fidel about all sorts of things. Aww. That sounds like a good plan. But keep this in mind. When people get older, they often start to wish they were young again. Aww. Emerson is so wise. Which way are we going? I forgot, I gotta check my map again. I'm going the right way. Let's beat these birds up. Go away, Harpy. Good news. Aww. I'm so strong. And I'm, and I'm still leveling up, awesome. Fiore, move your butt! When can Fidel dress like that? I want to change my character's costume. I want to wear fishnets. Alright, here we are. We're back at the research facility. I gotta run all the way back. I did not realize that when I used the communicator. I forgot that I had to run all the way back through this. And I'm so sorry and apologize for that. I'm gonna make it quick. I know my way pretty well since I grinded through here. You don't have a chance. You don't stand a chance. I'm amazing. I'm not sure who Anne's voice actress is, but it sounds familiar and I love her. Let's see, where am I going? I remember where to go. I I grinded through here for days, so I remember. I got wicked strong, but it didn't really help. So 
sometimes you can be strong and the boss mechanics just beat you. Made it. We made it! Yay! We didn't die! Gold star! Yellow star! I like the yellow star. Where am I going? This way. We're almost there. A few more turns. I'm just running through it. I'm just blazing through. Research equipment. Oh no, it's the mini Death Stars! You know what I'm surprised about? I'm honestly so shocked by the fact that Fidel and Miki, they don't- they found out that Emerson and Anne are from space, and they've been on the spaceship. Well, Miki can't say nothing because she's in a hospital bed, but Fidel didn't really react like I thought he would. I thought he'd be like, oh my gosh, they're from space, they're aliens, and like, his mind just races with the thought of other life out there. And he didn't do that, he stayed calm and collected, and it just impressed me. Because I wouldn't. I'd be like, holy crap, that's amazing. Here, let's heal up real quick and save because, you know, saving's fun. Always save as soon as you can, whenever you can. Because this game, if you die, sends you back to your last save. And you don't want to run through it all again because it's awful. Yes, save for me. Save faster. Yes, okay, thank you. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, wait, which way is it? This way. I have no sense of direction. Wait, no, this isn't the right way. Oops. I told you guys I have no sense of direction. I wasn't lying. Yellow room. Really? My friends. My toys. My sister. Did something come back to you, Relia? What's this about a sister? This is... An observation room. And judging by the toys, I'd say one used to specifically monitor children. Yep. Maybe we can data mine the system if the console still works. Let me try. And this is a trap. This is when we got ambushed last. Why isn't there a single person? Wait a second. I'm just checking out the map real quick, and I see my cat. Shoo! Shoo! I don't have my laser light! No! No, Rumple, go. Hopefully she listens. If not, we're just gonna have a cat in the video. Trap. Get ready. We got company. Alright, guys. We gotta keep Ian alive. That's the boss mechanic. So, no matter how strong we are, it doesn't matter. If Ian dies, then we it's game over. So, that's what I've learned. Bell, it's really a sick. See what items I got. I think I've got some cool stuff in here somewhere. There's a bomb. I'm gonna use that on you. If Anne dies, it's over, so we just gotta protect Anne. So let's see what I got for health. 30% HP. It would help if we cure if we healed Emerson too. I still can't use him. Let's heal Emerson. Let's heal ourselves, dang. Oh shoot. Emerson! <laughs> Gotta heal myself first. There we go. They're almost dead. We got this. I'll keep you safe, Ann. I'll protect you! With my little sword against this advanced technology from outer space. He's dead. Right on! So that was our problem. trap after all. The building's gonna detonate after a silent countdown. So they can dispose of both the evidence and the opposition. Not bad. Oh, Their crap. The encryption's top notch, so disarming the system will take time. The data? I retrieved it. 
but there's not much time left until the detonation. The security do do? robots must be here to ensure we don't get out in time. Oh, fudge. Fudge the biggest Charles duck. Charles this is Emerson. They're jamming our signal. Oh, crap. We can't teleport. We can't teleport out. I guess we'll have to leave on our own two feet. We'll have to run Countdown for it. Progress. T minus 18 minutes. That's Make not bad. The exit. We need to get the hell out of here before we're blown sky high. That's right. Let's do this. Now, the question is, do I want to fight or just run? Let's heal first, because that was a tough battle. All right. Good job. Good job, team. Let's go. Uh, my strategy is to just run through this. I'm going to be a huge chicken shit baby. Bye. Escaping. Escaping. Don't shoot. I know my way out of here pretty well, luckily, because I grinded here. Bye. I could easily kill him, I know. Is this the way out? Yep. Bye bye. Don't mind me. Avoid the giant robots. I think you could fight him and get out of here pretty easily, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take that chance. I don't wanna blow up. Or they stun me and I start walking slow, whatever. Oh fudge, I went the wrong way. Oh well, might as well kill him. There we go, we did it. Sorry about that, I went the wrong way. I know this place looks back in my hand. <laughs> Not really. I'm kind of a little chicken shit. Oh, see? We're gonna get out of here. No problem. Bye, bye, don't mind me. I know I could kill it, I'm just being a coward. It's called, it's called strategic withdrawal. Let me through. Strategic withdrawal! Yeah, I think you could definitely fight all these and get through, but I just w wasn't sure and didn't want to chance it, so I was a coward. Alright, this place is gonna blow. Let's watch and see what happens. Come in, Charles de Gaulle. Do you read me? Hello? Loud and clear. This is the Charles de Gaulle. Transport the five of us out of here before this explosion does it for us. <laughs> right away, sir. Woo! I thought we had some time left before it blew up. Oh well. What's going on? We're back in space! Oh dang. Bye bye. Good thing it was in the middle of nowhere. I'm so glad everyone's okay. On the other hand, all our leads have gone up in flames. They're burnt all black and stuff. What sort of research was going on at that facility anyway? We haven't analyzed the documents yet, so all I can do is speculate as to the building's purpose. But I assume it belonged to a group called Kronos. Kronos? That's their name. It's a long story. So let me tell it while we're en route to sickbay. Okay. All right, we're going to go to sickbay, which is where Miki is. So we'll go see how Miki's doing. Miki, my love, are you okay? I love Miki. Here we go. Miki. Oh, Miki, you're so fine. You're so fine. You blow my mind. Hey, Miki. Miki. I love her so Deck much. Deck 12. Sick bay. We're with an organization called the Pan Galactic Federation and come from far away in the sky. <laughs> if we hadn't already experienced what we have with you. And say you're telling the biggest whopper ever. When you look up at the sky, you can see a lot of lights, right? Well, we're from one of those astral lights, as is Kronos, albeit a different one. To people far, far away, your home is also an astral light. That's cool. And we have termed your particular orb of light Fae Creed 4. 
The Pan-Galactic Federation and Kronos signed a charter that forbids either party from entering the other's territory or the neutral zone between them. And they broke it. We obtained information stating that Kronos was clandestinely operating on Fate Creed 4. Oh, wow. And when we came to investigate, well, you know. Okay, so I this is basically a space you guys war. And Kronos are enemies, but you mind explaining what all this has to do with Relia? Yeah, good question. Little Miss Starlight was living in that laboratory of theirs. Relia is most likely a living test subject for some of Kronos' experiments. And? Sorry. That was uncalled for. A little harsh. A test subject. You are more than a test subject, baby girl. All for the sake of creating signets. You're important and this you matter. This is now far beyond the realm of simply trying to reunite a young runaway girl with her parents. Yeah, this is beyond what we thought it was. She was a test subject and it, that's awful. I can't imagine. And we don't know where her sister is. She said something about a sister. It's Miki! Miki's okay! Hi! Miki! Oh. I didn't mean for you to get hurt. My heart! This is all my fault. No, it's okay, baby sorry. girl. Don't say sorry. <laughs> you don't say sorry in this situation, Relia. Exactly. You say thank you. Oh, thank you, Miki. Oh, what a hugger. She's so cute. You're very welcome. Anything for you, Relia, you sweet okay. precious baby. You're here, Fiddly. Emerson and Anne are the ones who saved you. If they hadn't been around, we wouldn't have been able to do anything for you. <sighs> That's what I heard from the people here. Thank you so very much. Don't thank us. It's our fault in the first place. I have something I need to say. We want Relia to stay in our custody. What? What? Where'd you get that crazy idea? No! She's being chased by an organization called Kronos. As for who they are and how they relate to us, ask Fidel. He knows already. How does any of that matter in the least? You've seen firsthand how persistent those reprobates can be. Really is so significant to them that they're willing to go through all of this for her. And now that they've failed multiple times, they'll start taking even more drastic measures. It's true. But still... Kronos possesses nearly the same level of technology that we do. As long as they think the ends justify the means, you won't be able to stop them from taking her. It's true. We, however, can. Furthermore, your country will no longer be attacked if we have her. <sighs> There'll be peace. I want to stay here. Really, huh? Promise you'll take care of her? With all my heart. It's the right thing to do, leaving her with then Emerson. Then I leave her in your charge. The people who made her are from Let's space. She should be with people from space. But I, I feel bad being separated from her. Oh, I had to return the communicator? Aw, oh, I wanted to teleport still. I thought I'd always get to do that. Darn. It's so sad really is gone, but it's it's for the best. I mean, I love her and Miki together, and she loves Fidel, but... We are very grateful to have met the both of you. We owe you a debt of gratitude. Just wait until my technological discoveries surpass even yours. Fiore and her goals. Please see that no harm comes to Relia. You'll will. always be with us, baby girl. You take care down there. All the best. Relia, you take care of yourself. Miki. Grab happiness by the horn. Fidel. Bye-bye, Relia. So long. Toodaloo! Toodaloo, bye! Miki. <laughs> Fidel! No, baby girl, it's okay. Shh. You can see him again someday when all this calms down and there's not so much death going on. Emerson left. Anne left. Really left. Everybody's gone. I'm so sad right now. Oh well, it's it's for the best. We'll see what happens. What is, what's Fidel gonna do now? I guess what's really are gonna do now. I'm very sorry, but you're not allowed to be here. Look at Anne! Captain, our sensors have detected abnormal energy disturbances possibility that they're caused by mechanical activity as opposed to a natural phenomenon is 87.32 percent what do you make of it my guess is chronos cloaking technology oh dang use impulse engines to change our trajectory enable our shields as well we're going on red alert engine output reduced by half modifying course 
Now raising shields to 80% Omni. We're currently at 30%, sir. Everyone assume battle stations. Wow, his personality just changed when he put on his outfit and became a captain of a ship. Compared to down there when we talked to him. Ann's personality Tactical seems to have changed too. Screen. They really know what they're doing. Starboard. Engines to full power, raise shields to 100%. Starboard side hit. Shields operating at 97%. Loading of enemy torpedoes confirmed. Ann, any info on the torpedoes? Uh, nothing at the moment. Change course to 90 Mark 45. We're going to their port side. Oh no. Current speed at 0 0.87. We're approximately three minutes from Fay Creed 5. The enemy has launched eight torpedoes our way, all proceeding at course 360. Another eight torpedoes incoming. Following course 50, mark 270. Employing Hadian tactics, I see. Looks like someone in Kronos knows his way around a Starfleet battle. Enemy phase cannon fire has been detected. I don't phase know what's going on, but I'm scared. 35 degrees to starboard. Shields now at 94%. Oh, crap. All right. We're going to have to let a couple of torpedoes through. I guess all we can do is pray there's no pack too much of a punch. Load four photon torpedoes. Set the first to slow, put it on a course for the flagship's eight torpedoes. Set the second one for slow as well and aim it at the second round. Oh, I hope they win. Prepped and ready. Great. Fire rounds one and two. Firing rounds one and two. Five seconds until contact. Oh. Three, two, one, zero. Ten enemy torpedoes still remain. Oh, shoot. Shouldn't be anywhere near that many. Huh. Who knew their AI was that good? Five seconds until contact. Three, two, Everyone, one. brace for impact. Damage report. We sustained damage from two torpedoes. Shields reduced to 57%. You guys Warp can do it. Is operational. All I believe in you. Two measly torpedoes? Yakagi evaded all torpedoes. The Nimitz took one hit that reduced its shields to 34%. Its warp drive has sustained heavy damage. Now only its impulse engines remain operable. Even if they're top of the line, our ships are still mainly research vessels. They don't stand a snowball's chance in hell against three battle cruisers. Transmission from their flagship. Before we open communications, shut down our warp drive. Captain, you can't be serious. What? Do it now. Aye, aye, sir. Well, that's your way of escaping. Warp drive shut down. Shields at five percent. Okay, now bring him up on screen. Oh no. This is Captain Aaron. The Kronos Interstellar Army ship Dare Volos. Emerson T. Kenny, captain of the Federation vessel Charles de Gaulle. Kenny, you say? Well, well, what an honor it is to meet a gentleman as influential as you. A shame I can't see your face with all that egg of defeat smeared on it. Oh my gosh. Thanks for the concern. I believe you know what we came here for. Which is yours. Captain! But in return, I'd like a favor. What's he gonna do? What's that? The warp drives of this and another of our ships took a great deal of damage. Enough to render interstellar navigation impossible. I ask you to please let us leave this sector on the one ship with a fully functional warp drive. Run a scan. What a sly fox! That's why you saw the warp drive. first and third ships are indeed down. Yeah! I'll permit the other ship's crews to go. I regret to inform you, however, that yours will have to stay behind. That's fine with me, but how should we handle the exchange? Your crew will transport over to my ship, starting with you. Then we'll start moving within transport range of your vessel. Fret not, for we shall do the moving. All you need to do is lower your shields and wait until we are in range and contact you again. Don't pull anything funny in the meantime. He will. He'll defeat him. How far away is the enemy from us? We are approximately 0 0.34 AU away from the Daravolos, sir. That's 10 minutes at quarter speed, or 5 at half. The crew of the Nimitz is to board the Akagi at once, using any means necessary. Yes, sir. Once everyone's boarded, the Akagi is to warp out as soon as possible and head for remote Station 5. What of the Charles D. Gold's crew? We'll use escape pods and land on Fay Creed 5. Send someone later to pick us up. 
Lieutenant Volos and the rest of its fleet have begun moving toward our vessel at quarter speed, Captain. Ten minutes, forty-seven seconds until they're within range. Oh. Open a comm link to the whole Relia ship. back there just... Will do, sir. You're on. So scared. Attention, all crew members. You will now begin boarding the nearest escape pod and prepare to abandon ship. Do not eject, however, until I give the command. That is all. Wow, Emerson. Captain, you wouldn't be... Took you long enough. You should have realized his intention when he cut power to the warp drive. Ah. This is our only option. Will you help? Everyone but Anne and Delacroix board an escape pod. Computer, bring up the self-destruct sequence. Whoa. He's Access gonna... to the self-destruct sequence requires the authorization of at least three Federation officers. In addition... Nix the briefing. Emerson T. Kenny of the Pan-Galactic Federation. Rank, Captain. Authorized. Tiffin Delacroix of the Pan-Galactic Federation. Rank, Lieutenant Commander. Authorized. So let me get this straight. In addition to violating the Underdeveloped Planet Preservation Pact, we're going to add another federal offense to our rap sheets? It's our only choice. Anne Patriciani of the Pan-Galactic Federation. Rank, Lieutenant. Identities confirmed. Access to self-destruct sequence settings granted. I want a 12-minute silent countdown for a warp drive overload sequence. The sequence code is Alpha, Tango, Quebec, Zulu, 4915. Direct the blast this way. Settings applied. Command required to initiate, with another code needed to disarm. Start. He's gonna Delacroix, blow up his own get to ship. An pod. And get little Miss Starlight and come with me. Yes, yes sir. sir. Oh, really, uh, poor baby. They're all yours now. May the goddess of victory smile upon us. Oh my goodness. I'm not even sure where to go. Oh, follow the star. Of course. I'm following. Here I am. Is this where I'm supposed to be? It is where I'm supposed to be. It's just, it's so chaotic right now with Emerson deciding to blow up his spaceship Deck and... one. Cargo bay. First, synchronize the launch of the escape pods so it occurs right before we transport. Make sure one shuttle launches along with them too. I'll also need you to set the launch angle of both the pods and the shuttle to 180 degrees from the Chronos fleet. Will do. Next, have it look like we and Relia will transport to the Daravolos, but actually transport us to the shuttle. Transport us to a fast-moving object? What? Impossible. Have the shuttle break right before we transport, so it slows down enough to stabilize its coordinates. We should still be able to escape as long as we accelerate afterwards. Will that work? That's theoretically possible. That's terrifying. With your programming skills, Anne, I know you're able to turn theory into reality. You're the only one who can make this work. Yeah, but... If we miss... I'll try my best to get us through this. Somehow. You're not gonna try. You're gonna do. Damn, Emerson. <laughs> if the shuttle's too fast, we'll materialize in outer space. But if we slow it down too much, we'll get caught in the blast and completely disintegrate along with the enemy ships. Well, no pressure, For shit. The love of... Just how many miracles do we need here? None. Not a single one of these obstacles is too much for us to overcome by ourselves. Ugh. We can do this, for real, yeah. Right, Emerson? Leave everything to me, kiddo. I'll keep you safe and sound. Thank like you. Like Fidel did? Yes. Exactly like Fidel did. I'm finished. I knew you'd be done in no time. Thanks for the compliment, sir. Now, let's hurry to the transport room. I think Emerson and Anne's relationship is very... They're friends, but it's more work. About work. Deck 2, transport room. Kenny to the Akagi. Yes? How are things coming? Done in six minutes. Do it in four or you'll be cosmic dust. I'll make sure they do, sir. I won't be able to give any further commands. 
So figure out the timing and warp out at your own discretion. Oh, wow. So professional. I love these guys. Time to show us what you're made of and reprogram the transporter, Anne. Have it display coordinates that are in the Daravolos, but set the real ones to inside the shuttle. I know what to do. Oh, really? Uh... Do I... Oh, I'm supposed to run. Oh, I was waiting for Anne. I didn't realize I was supposed to go somewhere. Oops. It happens sometimes. Ooh, a safe spot. We're gonna save. Because I'm not sure what's gonna happen after this ship blows up, so here we go. Oh, I forgot how to save. I hit the wrong button! Let me save. Yes, please. Thank you. Oh, right on. Save successful. There we go! And we don't really need to heal. You got this, Anne? Do your best. I believe in you. We have an incoming transmission from the Darivolos. Oh no. Bring it up. Have you yet to finish your preparations, Captain Kenny? Our ship is now within the established 30,000 click secure transport radius. You may begin transport now. I know, I know. Sadly, we don't have sufficient energy to do that. I request permission to engage warp drive. Fine, but don't even think of raising your shield. We won't. Huh. Your Promise. Your drive is on and your transport coordinates are indeed correct. Now send us our test subject. Don't we'll call be her right that. over in a mere 20 seconds. Captain Aaron, we've determined that escape pods are launching from the Charles D. Goal. You what? What in the hell is going Eight. on? Seven. What are you filthy Six. swine perpetrating? Five. Answer me, Kenny! What Four. have you done? Three. Two, one. Please forgive me, General! Oh. They did it! Anne's the best! Good work, Anne. They made it out! Anne and Emerson are the best! All right, warp 1.1. Let's head to Fakreed 4. The Charles D. Cole. Oh, they just watched their spaceship blow up. That's like their baby. Aww. We made it without a single scratch, thanks to your awareness and acuity, sir. Sleep tight, old friend. My captain, my captain. I wonder if Fidel can see this from down there. Like he sees the explosion. It's hard to just stand by and watch stuff happen that's out of your control. Poor guy. Does this mean we're gonna go back down to that planet and hang out with Fidel and Miki more? That'd be cool. I wanna hang out with Fidel and Miki all the time. Captain, just so you know, the shuttle has now officially been cloaked. Thanks for the update. Kenny to the Akagi. Do you read me? I do. Loud and clear. Whew. I'm glad you guys are okay. Our sentiments exactly, Captain. I'm also pleased to report we're safely on our way to remote station 5. Yay! That's great news. We lack adequate power for subspace transmission, and we're about to lose our signal. But let me say one thing first. We've already filed a request with the aforementioned base to mobilize a rescue squad. They're scheduled to arrive in a few days. That's good. While you're at it, put in a request for you know what. You don't mean the Model G, do you? That's ludicrous. Is that a new They'll ship? I'll never approve that. It hasn't undergone a single test flight. I bet it's a new ship. Make the request. I want a new ship. Uh, Mine got blown up. I suppose it can't hurt to ask. Oh, and there's something of the utmost import I need to discuss. We lost them. I don't understand why you wouldn't say the most important thing first if you were about to go out of range. Oh my gosh. I think he would have if you hadn't made that demand. Yeah. Well, there's no use thinking about what might have been. 
We should probably lay low somewhere until the rescue team from Remote Station 5 comes. Yes, sir. Huh? What's going on? Relia. Relia. It's her power? What? How could I be so careless as to overlook the transport tracker? What? An elementary mistake. What? One of the three ships apparently got their shields up in time, I see. Unlike the Darivolos, the other two ships might have already had them up in case of an emergency. Oh shit. Even they if got we her. on the bridge, I should have looked over the data more thoroughly. Still, they should have sustained a decent amount of damage from the overload. I doubt they'll be able to warp out of this sector any time soon. Which means there's still time Maybe to rescue so. her. But we can't do anything without our own ship. What do we do? Make one? Maybe there's one hidden here. I mean, there was hidden advanced technology <sighs> under the desert sand. I'm sure we can find a spaceship somewhere. Oh my gosh. I'm just... My baby's gone. My baby's been stolen. What do I do? What do I do? I don't know what to do. Fidel? You say those gleaming sticks came from this so-called Kronos. I find this quite difficult to believe. I saw it with my own two eyes. Yeah. How's the front line? The troops with the gleaming sticks supposedly vanished right after we did. Once the Trikurans were deprived of their secret weapon, they were no longer a match for our military strength. Yes, we they won. We did. And now a plan is in motion to invade Eastern Trekur. If it goes well, they will be forced to retreat from our border. Speaking of Eastern Trekur, I was just about to head there. <laughs> Allow me to take part in the invasion with you. Yes. Take part? I Maybe we can meet up with Relia. As long as a reinforcement anyway. Rasuli is our homeland, and Fiori is a good friend. So I have more than enough reasons to fight too. Very well, then. I doubt anyone will oppose the addition of reserves. I'll let my superiors know. Yay! Thank you. The faster we can join everyone, the better. Therefore, let's make for Eastern Trekur post-haste. I'll give you the details on the way. Alright, and when we get there, maybe we'll run into Emerson and Ant, and we can get together with Relia again. Now what do I do? Hello. Ah, you're bored. Can I go through here? How do I leave? Oh, I forgot how to open doors. I forgot I could do that. I'm a turkey! Bye! See you later! It sucks I can't teleport. I'm so used to teleporting where I need to go and now I have to run all the way over there? Ugh! I'm sore just thinking about it. And I'm not actually running. What's going on? Oh, this is our battle strategy? Our strategy for this battle nice. requires us to split our army in two. Master Camuse will command the main force, which will charge head on at the enemy, overwhelming them with numbers and distracting them. Right on. <laughs> I figured as much. Let's kick their butts. Take our their land. Our detachment will infiltrate the kingdom of Trekur by passing through the western Dakov tunnel. They started this it. We're going to finish the other it. Side of the Imperial troops in eastern Trekur allowing us to attack from behind. Okay. Okay. To reach Good. the tunnel, we must venture beyond Sword of View until we come to a fork in the road. Then we head southwest. Mobility will be of the utmost importance in arriving at our objective. Therefore, we will move in small units. We are to rendezvous with the other detachment members at Eastern Trekur. I would rather not be the last ones there, so let us make haste. Sounds like a plan. We can do this. I did not memorize any of that. I have no idea where I'm going. I'm bad at battle strategies. I wonder what foods my dear Viki Poo likes. Oh my god, Victor, you are so popular with the ladies here. I should buy a sword, then I could train with <laughs> oh, I missed it. I missed what it said. I'll go back and look at it when I edit it. But every time I'm in this town, someone's talking about Victor and how handsome and amazing he is. And it's adorable. Can I open that chest? This is a free chest. It's just lying out in the open, ready to be touched by strangers. All right, let me look at my map real quick. Um, I don't know where to go. I think it's the Rasulia Plains over here. I'm so bad directions. I should have paid more attention. Sorry, excuse me. Pardon me. Sorry. Oof. Oof. I'm gonna hit this kid. Ugh. Watch where you're going. Ugh. I 
I hope this is the right way. If I see a star, I'll know. All right, let's check our map and see what's up. I don't know where I'm going. I think I went the wrong way though. Look, let me turn around. I think I went the wrong way. Oh my gosh, I'm so bad at directions and I'm so sorry guys. I'll try to get it right. This whole episode's just gonna be me getting lost. Let me check my map again. Maybe go up to the Northern Territory? Yeah, go through the nor Northern Territory through the ice and then get to the desert. Cause that's what we did last time. Sorry. Um, yeah, ooh, sorry, watch where you going. Uh, uh. I'm gonna hit that little girl. I'm gonna hit her in the face. Uh. Wait, where was I going? Yeah, I, I know what I'm doing. I'm an adventurer, I don't get lost. Eh. I'm gonna hit that guard. Watch your back! Uh. I'm so mean. I like pushing and shoving into people. Alright, hopefully this is where we have to go. No? Really? Where do I go? Oh my gosh, I'm so confused. Hmm. I need to thank guys because I'm really embarrassed because I should have paid attention during that and I didn't. I didn't pay attention. Fudge a duck. Alright, let's look at my map again. Maybe there's something in... Let's see. Is there anything in resources? There's... I want to know what my quest is! I need to know! I'm gonna run back to the castle. Maybe maybe he'll give me an idea because I'm really embarrassed right now and I get lost easily. Excuse me. I need to go back to the castle because I think I messed up. Hello? Your Majesty? I didn't get all the information. Well, I did get it all, but I didn't listen. Please tell me again where I need to go and what I need to do. There's nothing in here? Well, Victor, talk to me. Oh, shoot. I can't talk to him right now. Oh, fudge. Oh, well, I guess we're just going to figure this out. Where haven't we gone? That's what we need to do. We need to figure out where we haven't been. Let's see here. I will figure out where we have to go. I will! I'm smart! Let's see, we tried the Rusulian Plains, the Northern Territory. Let's go straight. I don't know what else to do. It sucks without the communicator. Without being able to teleport. Ah, it sucks. I hate being normal. I need it. I need technology! I wish I was a space alien like Relia go where I wanted. Bye! Bye, guys! Is this where I need to go? I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what I'm doing. I will figure this out. I just, I need some time. I will figure this out though. I finally figured out where to go. I used the Google machine. I gave up because I was getting so lost. And I was right the first time. I hate myself. So we're gonna go this way because I was right the first time and I didn't believe my gut instincts. And I need to believe in myself more. Move out of the way. I messed up and I'm taking it out on all of you. Oh, I'm so sad. I was right the first time! I don't believe in myself enough, but I need to. Here we go. Thanks, Google. Thanks, the Google machine. Helping me figure out stuff. Because it was making me so mad I couldn't figure out where to go. There's usually a star to point me where to go. So let's fight these guys. Let's. They're like... What are they? They're like unicorn squirrels. Sabertooth unicorn squirrels. Hello. I'm gonna kill you. I don't want to because you're cute. I want a saber-toothed unicorn squirrel. So 
someone make action figures for me? I want little action figures of those. Sabertooth unicorn squirrels. Oh cool, I need that. Or I don't really need it. Yay, I picked up materials. I'm gonna fight that tree. Get the trees! Woo! Right on! I'm so powerful. I do- I do not regret grinding. I didn't have to grind, I just had to keep Anne alive. But I'm so glad I, I grinded and I, I worked hard on my characters. Because it does help. It does help push the storyline forward. So whenever you can, grind and get stronger. Plus the monsters are cute and they're all different. Look, there's some dudes. Hello. Once we're beyond sword of you, we should head southwest to find the western Dakov Tunnel. Dakov Tunnel. Okay. I'll remember that. I'll remember this time. I'll pay attention to what he's saying this time. Bye, guys. I'm on a very important mission. I'm on my way to do stuff. You wouldn't understand because you're dressed like that. If you were dressed cool like us, you'd be a main Sorry. character. If you had blue hair and awesome, amazing outfits, you you might be a main character. <laughs> I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go this way. So now that I know where to go, I'm super happy with that. There's a safe spot, so I'm going to take advantage of that. Let me save. Let me save. Let me save here. Oh, right on. Yes, please. Thank you. So nice. So kind. So I finally figured out where to go, and guys, unfortunately, I'm all out of time, so I'm going to stop the video here. I'm having so much fun, though. Sorry I got lost and we couldn't get a little further, but I promise I'll keep making videos, and we're just going to have a blast. So thank you all so much for watching. If you're enjoying this video or watching me play, please leave me a comment down below. I love hearing from all of you, but I'll see all of you in my next video. Bye, guys! <laughs>